Necrophila pinatifida is an awesome aquarium plant which is an enrichment for most aquarium layouts and it's also one of my favorite plants. It is endemic to India and grows in or near small streams. The plant is so unique because it is a kind of mix between a stem plant and an epiphyte plant. You can plant Hucrophila pinatifida in the substrate or attach it to the hardscape with super glue, cotton thread or just stick it into gaps. The submersed form of the plant has a really nice ornamental leaf shape. The base color is green but under good lighting conditions and with decent fertilization the leaf can turn brownish to red. The immersed form is larger with thick and robust stems and the leaves are always green. In my opinion the plant works best as epiphyte plant on a well lighted place on the hardscape. The beautiful red colors create a wonderful contrast to green plants. In vitro cups are ideal for this purpose. If you want to use Hucrophila pinatifida as a background plant, a nutrient rich substrate is recommended. The plant can reach a considerable size of over 40 cm or 16 inches. In terms of difficulty, the plant can be classified as medium. The growth rate is moderate but in a high tech tank with a good lighting, a lot of nutrients and a CO2 injection it can also be an invasive fast grower. Regarding the water parameters, the plant is not too demanding, but the plant definitely prefers softer water. In any case, potassium deficiency in the water should be avoided, otherwise the plant get tiny holes in the leaves. You can directly influence the growth of the plant. If you want to use the plant as background plant and further the vertical growth of the plant, you should simply cut off the excess runners. If you want to further the horizontal growth, simply trim the main stems of the plant regularly to keep the plant small. As a result, the plant increasingly produces runners and continues to grow like a carpeting plant.